Today we're going to be talking about pronouns. What are pronouns, you may ask? Well, pronouns are words used in place of nouns. Okay, we are going to be looking at English pronouns and how they're used in sentences. And there's five columns. And we're going to be looking at each column. We've got subject pronoun, object pronouns, possessive adjective, possessive pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. And we're going to be looking at each five in more detail. First, we're going to look at our subject pronouns. First person such pronoun, I will go to the park today. First person means only one person. It means you. You're the first person. So you'll say, I will go to the park today. Second person is someone else other than yourself. Another person, let's say your friend. You can tell your friend, you will go to the park today. Second person, you're talking about another person, you're talking about you. Third person, male, John will go to the park today. He will go for a walk. Since John is a masculine name, then the word he is also a masculine pronoun. Instead of saying John will go to the park today, John will go for a walk. Instead of saying John, we already know who the person is, so we can replace John with he, since we know he, who he, who he is. And the same goes with third person, female. Sarah, which is a feminine name, will go to the park today. She will go for a walk. So instead of Sarah, Sarah will go to the park today. Sarah will go for a walk. We can replace Sarah with she since we know who she is. Because it's right here in the first sentence. Sarah. So we use the pronoun she. Now, third person thing. It will go to the park today. Well, you can use it, but you want to have it done sense. You want to define it. It will go to the park today. Well, what? You can say, my dog is named Rover. It, my dog, is big. Period. It will go to the park today. Because, because I, didn't, I didn't say the name. Now, if I would say the name, my dog is named Rover, he will go to the park today. Then I can use that word he because we know the name Rover. But if I say my dog is big, it will go to the park today. The dog is a thing, an animal, which is a thing. So it's it. See the difference between using it and he? Or let's say she, my dog is named Daisy. She will go to the park. You got to, you got to read the first sentence to know what type of pronoun is best suited right after that sentence. First person plural, we will go to the park today. First person plural, remember plural means two or more things, correct? So, let's say there's five of us in a room. And I'm telling somebody, we will go to the park today. Second person plural doesn't change you. You can say you and you and you and you will go to the park today. Or you can say you all will be going to the park today. Third person plural, they will go to the park today. So let's say I'm talking to you over here, and there's five people over here. I'm telling you, hey, they will be going to the park today. Because remember, plural means two or more. Object pronoun. First person, will you send that letter to me? I'm the object. I'm the pronoun of the, of the object. Letter. Object pronoun. Second person, you will go to the park today. As you see, the word you doesn't change. Third person, now John will go to the park today. I will wait for him. Him is an object pro, is a pronoun to, the, to John, which is an object. Third person female, Sarah, would go to the park today. I will wait for her. We're looking at the feminine 
pronoun. So her is a pronoun to Sarah, which is an object. Third thing, y'all will go to the park today. I will be playing fetch with it. It is a pronoun to the dog, which is an object. I didn't specify a name, so, so since, I, since the dog doesn't have a name, then I can't use him or her. I have to use it. First person plural, the books are for us. Remember, plural means two or more. So, it'll be for us. Second person plural, I'll be with, I'll be with, I will be with you very soon. As we see, you doesn't change. Third person plural, John and Sarah are reading for books. I will take the books to them. Them is a pronoun, which is plural, meaning two or more. To John and Sarah, which are objects. Now we're going to be looking at possessive adjectives. First person, my name is Mr. Miller. Mine is possessive of name. Who does the name belong to? My. Second person, are those your books? Your, your is possessive to books. Who do the book, books belong to? Your. You're talking to that second person. Third person, male, his name is Mr. Smith. Remember, Mr. Smith is usually, is a masculine name because of the word Mr. So name is the object. His is the possessor of whose name? His name. And who is his name? Mr. Smith. Same thing goes with third person female. Her name is Miss Smith. Well, we know the word Miss is a feminine salutation. So we use the word her. Third thing, that is my dog. Its name is Rover. There we go, the word its is possessive. It's possessing what? The word name. Remember, when you have its, and if it's before a noun, then no apostrophe s, because if you put a apostrophe s here, it, it apostrophe s is a contraction for it is. So if you did apostrophe s here, we would say it is name is Rover. Mm -mm. Doesn't sound doesn't sound good. Mm -mm. So no apostrophe. Just remember the difference, and we'll get into that in another lesson. First person plural. Our house is big. Remember, plural means two or more people. So we're talking about our house is big. Second personal, your house is big. Talking about that second person, your house. Third person plural, John and Sarah lives in Boonville. Their house is big. Remember their, remember plural means two or more people, right? When it comes to persons, to people. So John and Sarah is at least two people, so we use there as a pronoun. Possessive pronouns, not possessive actions. Now we're doing possessive pronouns. That geometry book is mine. Mine is a possessive pronoun for geometry books. Whose geometry books are there? Mine. Second person, is that geometry book yours? You're talking about that second person. Is those, are those geometry books yours? Third person male, John is in my class. That geometry book is his. His is referring to geometry book because we know John is a masculine name, so we use a masculine pronoun. Third person female. Feniman. Sarah is in my class. That geometry book is hers. We know Sarah is usually a feminine name, so the word hers is a feminine pronoun. Sarah books, her books. First person plural, the house belongs to Sarah and me. That is ours. Remember plural person means two or more people. 
Second person plural, Jim, that house is yours. You're talking about that second person. Third person plural, that house belongs to Jim and Beth. That house is theirs. Remember, plural person means two or more people. And finally, reflexes, pronouns. First person, I will be going to the movies by myself. When we think of reflexes, pronouns, we'll be looking at the letters S, E, L, F. Myself, himself, herself, himself, themselves. Remember, it's plural, so we have to replace this F with V, E, S, which we'll see shortly. Second person, you'll be going to the movies by yourself. Remember, second person, we have that word you. Third person, Mel, John will be going to the movies by himself. Third person, Philma, Jill will be going to the movies by herself. Third thing, the dog will go to the park by itself. Remember, a dog is a thing. So we use that, we imply the word it, so. First person plural, we will see ourselves out. Remember, here's that letters, V-E-S. When you're talking about plural, replace the pronoun with plural, you replace F with the letters V-E-S. Second person plural, you and Jill will let yourselves out. Remember, there's that word your or the word you in it. Third person plural, the group of men will let themselves out. We're talking about themselves. We're talking about more than two people. Remember, two or more people. And that concludes pronouns.